Hello and welcome to Layout Updates March 2012. Okay, March's two update. What has happened? Let's have a look. Well, all the 70s carriages and the Lima class Western, 52 Western, 50 and 55 Daltic and the 09 have all had their wheels cleaned and are now running. We have the 09 here and the 52 Western there and some of the 70s carriages all lined up in the platform. And then they've only got two more to the left to clean and then they're all done and I can forget about that and start with the other carriages which are going to be more difficult to do with their plastic wheels. Um, if we get rid of the Western, I'll show you the station. Right, I've not done the second platform, but what I have done, well, I'll show you. If I take this, I'll get to this in a minute. If you watched my last layout update, you would have seen me with well, the stages of making the platform. Now, as I said I was going to do, I've made it all one piece, as you can see, all one piece, and I've added these pieces of card here, and some braces with little holes cut in it. For the um, pieces of card underneath, uh, there's one there and one there. And that helps to keep the whole thing in one piece and rigid. After I did that, oops, I proceeded with putting the edging strip all the way along which is now done, that looks really good. I'm gonna buy some a plastic kit for some fences to put along the top there. And then I thought, right, I need a station building. Well, I originally was planning to use, if I can find it, this Metcalf station. Basically, I think it's a Midland design, but as you can see, it is way, 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 way too big. So, I thought, right, what can I do now? I can remember, when my dad and my granddad gave me all their old stuff, there was a kit, and this was it. The Great Western Railway Series Lambourne Station Builder Plus. I think date dates from 1971 or something, I think, I'm not sure. No, 1979, it says there. And this is it. Obviously it's a GWR station, so it's the best. <laughs> My biased opinion there, but oh well. I think it's really good, I'm really pleased with it, especially for how old it is. The only problem with it making it was the instructions are actually on the bottom of the model. <laughs> That's not a very good place to put it. But anyway, so that's going to go there. It's still a little bit tiny, a bit too big, but it looks okay. I think I might chop a little bit off the back, I'm not sure yet, or spin it round and put it this side of the station. But it doesn't look very good that side, especially not for me anyway. I'd like to see what I've built, if you know what I mean. So yes, and I've got a little sign I'm going to put there. I'm actually going to put that there. It's very old, this is Hornby Dubelo. 1950s vintage that will will always stay there I need to make a nameplate and that'll be it for the station I think apart from making another platform here and next thing is the third line um, here I've put a piece of track there to represent it 
Um, I'm still not sure if, whether I'm going to do it or not yet. Uh, it would involve buying two curved points to go there and there. Um, I'm still I'm 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 still not sure. I'm still not sure. But it could be in the fans. Hopefully, it would make it look a bit better. It really would. Um, the EWS wagon thing here. That's new. I got that. I was given that in a train set. And I was also given a Class 06, which isn't here at the moment, which is a shame. And another thing I've done, if I take the good shed away, is I've extended this siding with this bit here. And eventually nail that down. So I can put the engine shed here. Or well, engine, just good shed. And this is going to be the first bit that I'm going to ballast. I'm going to, this is going to be sort of my trial run. All that's going to be ballast, and I think the good yard and the station is going to be the first thing to do once I've completed the other platform. So, yeah, it's all looking quite good. I've also got some new spotlights installed in my roof so I can see what I'm, what's going on sort of in the winter when it's a bit dark or in the evenings, which is absolutely excellent. Now, this area here has yet to be developed but I know what it's going to be, it's going to be my engine shed sidings, engine depot sort of thing. Um, I'm built, actually going to build a traverser to go from here to here. Um, for those of you that don't know what a traverser is, you can drive your engines on the traverser and then you can have a little switch or something and it will move up and down. So you could have four, I could have four roads there uh, two with an engine shed, two without, and I can just choose which one I want to go in, move the engine over, and put it in. Really simple, because it's, it's not actually a lot of space to put all the points in to put the roads in, so I've decided I'm going to build a traverser. Um, it's not going to be that difficult, but I'm just not sure when it's, be, when it's going to be done. Hopefully soon, probably won't be. Okay, thanks for watching this update. If you've got any questions about the layout or anything else, just comment below and I'll answer all relevant comments. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like my channel. More videos coming up so shortly. Yeah, I think I'll leave you with some shots of the Western pulling away. Now I will say now, I'm not really a diesel person, but I make an exception for this engine because it's a Western region one. And you know, I love the GWR and the Western region. Anyway, thanks for watching.